So recently I was approached by a recruiter on LinkedIn for a DevOps engineer role and this one was a remote role requiring skills in Linux, CI, CD, Python, Docker, Kubernetes, OpenShift and some more tools. And even though at this time I'm not looking for any jobs, but I was still curious for the pay or the salary they were going to give for this one. So I tried asking them and to my surprise, this is what they told me. So $4,500 per month, which is around uh, 3 lakh 70,000 rupees in Indian currency. Some of you might think this is fake or too good to be true, but companies actually give this or more than this to many DevOps engineer. And that is why in this video, we are going to go deep dive in salaries of DevOps engineers. Let's go. Hey everyone and welcome to Cloud Champ. In this video, we will be looking at salaries of DevOps engineers in 2023. To start with, we will look at salaries offered by top tech companies like Amazon, Microsoft, Google, Adobe, IBM, etc. for DevOps engineers role. Then we will move to see salaries of DevOps engineers in USA or how much a DevOps engineer can make working in United States. Where we will also look at some interesting companies which pay double, triple or 5x more than what a DevOps engineer can make in India. We will also cover DevOps engineer salary in India and remote job opportunities. So watch this video till the end. A salary of DevOps engineers can differ due to various factors like education, background, years of experience, location and the company they are trying to apply in. But I'm creating this video based on the facts and the research I did. If you found any information misleading or wrong, you can let me know in the comment section and I'm open for discussion and correction. So let's enjoy the video. Number one is Google. Google is always known to offer higher salaries to their employees and this is the same for DevOps engineer roles as well. According to the data, if a person has an experience between 3 to 11 years, Google can provide compensation of around $213,000 every year. And this is not just the base salary, but it also includes stock options, bonuses and other benefits. But if you talk about just the base salary or the annual average salary, it is around $158,000 for Google, which is significantly higher than average salary for any other company. It's important to note that this is just an estimate and can vary depending on the location and the number of experience you have. Now let's talk about Apple. So average annual salary of Apple DevOps engineer in 2023 ranges around $191,000 for someone with experience between two to eight years. Number three is Facebook or Meta. So Facebook offers highly competitive salary for DevOps engineer role in 2023. If you're a DevOps engineer working at Facebook in 2023, you will be getting around $280,000 per year, which is more than many other companies that I know today. Now, if you talk about Amazon, according to Glassdoor, an average base pay of DevOps engineer working in Amazon is around $132,000 per year. But this is just the base pay. You also get some compensation like cash compensation of $25,000 and stock options of $35,000, which brings up the total around $1,91,000 per year. Whereas if you work as a DevOps engineer in Amazon India office, you will get a salary of around 15 lakhs per annum. Let's also look at some Indian companies and the salary they provide for DevOps engineer roles. So if you talk about Indian companies like TCS, Cognizant, Wipro, Infosys, they have an average base salary of around 6.5 lakhs, which can go up to 10 to 11 lakhs depending on your experience. So it's the same for most Indian companies you get around 6.5 lakhs as a fresher and it can grow up to 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 as you work more and more in, this, in those companies. Now, before we go ahead and learn about the salaries of DevOps engineers in USA, I want to share with you this amazing postgraduate program in DevOps by Simply Learn. This postgraduate program in DevOps by Simply Learn is in collaboration with IBM to help you gain expertise in the latest DevOps tools and technologies such as Kubernetes, Docker, Jenkins, Terraform, Ansible, Git, and more. Not only this, you will also get hands-on experience working on real-world industry projects, giving you the practical experience you need to succeed in your DevOps career. You can check out the learning path here on the website and you can also download it. After the completion of this program, you will get a certification like this from Simply Learn to validate your knowledge and skills in DevOps. Let's check out some reviews from the previous learners of this program. So if you check here, all these reviews are five star reviews, which means this is a good program to start learning DevOps. So click the link in the description and to be eligible for this program, you need to have a bachelor's degree with an average of 50% or higher marks. You don't need any work prior work experience and you can be from tech or non tech background because this program is for everyone. So click the link in the description, click on apply now, fill in all your details and proceed with learning 
DevOps from Simply Learn. Now let's have a look at DevOps engineer salaries in the United States. So according to Glassdoor, a job search website, DevOps engineer roles in United States can get around $110,000 as an average base pay. And you can check out the companies. So here are the different companies and their pay average pay for DevOps engineer roles. So Formac pays around $119,000 for DevOps engineer. Whereas if you checked IBM, IBM is paying $120,000 for DevOps engineer role. If you go down and you can also check Amazon.com or Amazon for $125,000 for DevOps engineer role. And there are also other companies like HCL, SAP or Rackspace which are giving same, uh, pretty much same. You can see GumGum is giving more than Amazon so it's $187,000. So there are many companies who will provide you more salaries than Fang companies or Mang companies. So more than uh, Microsoft, more than Amazon and there are many startups as well that, that will give you double or triple than uh, what you can see here. As mentioned earlier, DevOps engineer salary can vary due to different reasons. One of them is region. So DevOps engineer salary is per region. So for example, as you can see here, the report by talent.com, if you're in New York or California, you'll get $150,000, which is more than other regions where such as Texas, in Texas, you'll get around $131,000. Whereas in Hawaii, you get around $125,000. In Ohio, you get $120,000. In South Carolina, you get $150,000 and so on. So DevOps engineer salaries can also differ from region to region due to the cost of living and various other factors. So this, so this is average DevOps engineer salary in United States. Now let's look at average salaries for DevOps engineers in India. If you see here, there are, here are some companies and their uh, DevOps engineer salaries by company. So we have TCS, TechMindra, Wipro, Accenture, all the service based companies. As you can see, they are giving around 6.2, 6.7 uh, salaries for DevOps engineer role. So these are all service based companies and they provide less salaries compared to the product based and other startups in India. Uh, but if you look at other companies such as uh, if let me sort this on the basis of salary and you'll find many companies which offer you more. So you, you Google offers around 21.9 lakh in India for DevOps engineers, whereas Salesforce is 20. And if you go down, you can find more names like Apple, Zeta, Citicorp. Uh, we have names like Rackspace, which is around giving around 17.2 lakhs. Yahoo gives around 18 lakhs. And you also see Walmart here. Microsoft is giving 16.4 lakhs for DevOps engineers in India and you have a long list so you can go and check it out on ambitionbox.com. You can also see McAfee is giving 16.2 lakhs. So here is the average base pay for DevOps engineers in India. As you might have seen, there's a huge difference between the salaries in India and US. Even though engineers in India have more knowledge, have more experience, they are still paid less compared to salaries in US or in other countries and that is why everyone is shifting or applying for remote jobs and so i highly recommend you to check out some remote jobs let me show you some of them on linkedin so i'm here on my linkedin and you can check out remote jobs on this section here and filter it out based on your priority so i'm going to click on here and select remote option because i want to apply for remote jobs and there are 4000 applications here so if you check this one which is asking for sre and devops engineers and you can read the job description but if you scroll down you will find that the base salary for this job is around $120,000 till $180,000. And this is a remote job. So no matter if you're in India, Bangladesh, any country, you can still apply to it if you have the skills that they're asking for. Dentalplans.com. This is also a remote job. And if you scroll down, they're asking for two years of experience, DevOps experience. And for two years, they're giving you around 69,000 till 121,000, which is pretty good compared to the salaries you get in India. So anyone in India can apply to this easily uh, because these are all remote jobs. So here you can find the list of all the different companies that are giving you more salaries than what you get in Indian uh, companies. So I would recommend you checking this out and because there's a high chance you can get this if you have the knowledge and you will get more pay. So everything is okay. Now that you know the difference between the salaries in the jobs in India versus remote jobs, I would highly recommend you checking out and applying for these remote jobs. If you want to know how I got my first remote internship and the job as DevOps engineer, check out this video where I've shared everything how I got my remote internship and job as DevOps engineer. Apart from the salary, there are various benefits of having a remote job. First thing, you don't need to commute to go to your office. You don't have to see your manager's face every day. You don't have to drink shitty coffee of your office and a lot more. So let me give you some tips and tricks on how to get your first remote DevOps job. Number one, build a strong professional network. A strong network can immensely help you get your first job. 
So connect with people in the industry through social media platforms like LinkedIn, Twitter, or GitHub. You can also attend meetups and events or conferences to connect with like-minded people in the industry and to know what is happening in the market. Number two, update your resume. Your resume should highlight your experiences, knowledge, and skills in DevOps. You should update your resume according to the job you are applying for. So check your job description and update your resume according to that. So for example, if the job you're applying for is asking for more of CICD uh, experiences or skills, you can showcase that you have experiences in Jenkins, Travis CI, GitLab. If your job is asking for more of programming languages, you can showcase projects that have more use of Python or any other programming language. So update your resume according to the job description so that you have more chances of getting that job. Apply for remote job listings. You can apply on different websites that have remote opportunities like LinkedIn, Indeed, Remote OK, and much more. Last but not the least, practice and showcase your skills. Keep practicing your skills and stay up to date with the latest trends and the technologies in DevOps. This will help you stay competitive and increase your chances of getting that remote DevOps job. So there you have it, my take on DevOps engineer salaries in 2023. If you have any questions, any doubt, let me know in the comment section. Thank you and have a good day.